This is John Visconti, and today we're going to be looking at the Halloween Oracle by Stacy DeMarco. Uh, Lifting the Veil Between the Worlds Every Night. This is a uh, Blue Angel production. Comes in a typical Blue Angel two-piece box. Uh, orange on the inside of the box. Has a very nice guidebook. I've looked at a, well, a couple of cards and used the guidebook. I like the fact that there's no cardboard insert uh, inside this box because there's no reason for it. These cards stay together and uh, they have a real nice matte uh, linen finish on them. And they do, you don't need a cardboard insert that you have to do one of these things to take them out. But anyways, uh, getting back to the cards, um, I'm going to set the cards out here. I'm going to put the box over here. And I'll put the guidebook over here. Uh, we have um, a sale going on Llewellyn. Well, I guess it's over now, but it comes back every now and then. 35% uh, off. So I got this deck for around, I think it was 16 or $18, which I thought was a pretty good price. Um, anyways, I'm going to begin. <clears throat> uh, the cardstock, as I said, was very good. Very thick. Uh, nice uh, feel in your hand. It is a good size Oracle card. Uh, here's a typical uh, tarot card. This is a uh, AGM pebble back. And as you can see, there's quite a substantial difference uh, on this Oracle card compared to a regular tarot. But um, again, it's got a nice back. It has bats, ghosts, pumpkins, uh, cats, you know, uh, pretty cool. And uh, there's 36 cards in this deck. They are not numbered, but they are in alphabetical order. So uh, what I'm going to do is just uh, read the title of the card and, uh, and then the keywords below it. So our first card is called Ancestors. And at the bottom it says, The Lore and Legacy of Our DNA. And if you look here, here's the DNA strand right here on that tree. That's pretty cool. It also matches the green leaves. That's pretty cool. Green signifies life. So uh, DNA is certainly part of that. And uh, that's our first card. Next, we have Apple. And we have a, a nice cloud in the background here with some light uh, stretching through. Uh, we have an apple with a heart-shaped bite out of it with blood uh, uh, coming out. And it uh, looks like a little flower right there. And the key words are risk and reward. Next card is interesting. It's called Barmbrack. Now, Barmbrack is a bread that was popular, really, in Ireland centuries ago. And uh, you, take, you bake a loaf of bread. It's a little bit sweeter than your conventional loaf. It also has, like, raisins in it. And even um, it's fermented a little bit with uh, alcohol, apparently, uh, to affect the flavor. You won't get drunk on it, but... Uh, you'll uh, uh, taste it. And they put little items inside the loaf and they bake them in there. A ring is a key thing in these things. Could be a piece of cloth, could be a coin, and so forth. Little tiny items. And depending on what item you got in your cut of bread, that would determine like your luck. But in fact, let's look at uh, the guidebook here and see what it says about Brambach, Barmbrock. Okay, Barmbrack, Barmbrack. A pea, a cloth, a coin, a ring, a stick, within a loaf of speckled sweetness, slice it and eat it, a glimpse of my fate's completeness. Okay, so there's a little bit of history uh, about it, and uh, it says the objects are used as a kind of random oracle. Each one has a particular meaning which represents the fate of the person who found it in their slice. So, well, that's Barmbrack. You know, I didn't really know about bar um, Barmbrack until I got this deck, in fact. But uh, it's quite interesting. So, um, our next card is Black Cat. Uh, that's very traditional Halloween there. Uh, he's sitting on a, a stack of books, 
And it says, fortune meets opportunity. Okay? I love the cat's eyes in the background here. Uh, very cool. Very beautiful, gorgeous little cat. I had a black cat, so uh, his name was Blackie, in fact. Okay, next we have Cauldron and Synergy and Healing. Okay, so here we have a uh, pentagram, and we have a cauldron with a wand coming out of it, and uh, some interesting smoke or vapor coming out of the cauldron. Our next card is Dawn, and the light after the darkness. We have a glorious owl, uh, a nice large moon behind the owl, and uh, the owl is flying over a field at uh, quite a ways up in the air. I don't know what this vegetation is, but uh, looks like a little uh, creek is, is flowing through here. Very beautiful owl card. Uh, next card is death. Wow. Okay, so death, we have a moon with a skull face on it. This is a moth here. And the eternal cycle begins here. Indeed, we have physical life and we have spiritual life. And we go from one to the other and back into the other and so forth until we break the cycle of reincarnation. Um, but it, life is a growing experience. You're here in the physical. You're limited somewhat uh, by your five senses. And when you're released from the physical, you're less limited. So in order to appreciate the spiritual, perhaps we must be physical and limited. And once we move out of this uh, body, which is kind of like a prison, depends how you look at it, it's also an opportunity to have a physical experience. So uh, there's a lot to be gained uh, through the physical incarnation. But uh, death is a very interesting subject. Okay, next we have eternal love. Okay, it's kind of like a lover's card here. Uh, love is lore is love, uh, and it transcends physical death. Indeed, we take our love with us, okay? So that's one reason to be positive as you can uh, during your physical incarnation. Okay, next we have forgiveness, and a uh, hand here, and uh, a nice white flower, and reducing burden. And indeed, if you learn how to forgive, you will reduce a lot of burden in your life because uh, uh, holding ill will towards others ultimately hurts you as we're all one in the end. Okay, uh, ghost, regret. Okay, so um, I don't know about this card. I, I, I guess ghost, if you're a ghost, maybe if you're haunting, you're there because of regret. But um, I haven't read it on that. I'm going to read it. See what it says about ghosts. Let's see. Um, if I can find the page. Ghost, okay. Like smoke rising from the ashes, a mist from the sea... The dead they are watching, they have come to haunt me. Okay. Traditional definition is of the spirit or soul of a formerly living being. Uh, ghosts can be both in human form or an animal, and even occasionally inanimate objects, such as ghostly ships have been reported. Now, there's also residual hauntings, which are imprints on the environment. Okay, and those occur, and then you have conscious uh, visitations uh, from spirits that can communicate with you and so forth. So you have two different types going on. You can have residual energy, and you can have conscious communicating energy. Two different, very different things. Okay, next we have graveyard, unnecessary fear. Indeed, uh, we think of physical death as an end. And it's not an end, it's another beginning, much like the fool goes through his journey and uh, discovers different beginnings and endings throughout his life. Next, we have Hearth. 
Okay, a second, the card's a little sticky. Okay, hearth, happiness in our hearts and homes. Yep. So a hearth, you know, is warm and it keeps us alive. We can cook with it and uh, gives us light. So hearth, of course, has been replaced by electricity, uh, but uh, it still symbolizes uh, life and heat and warmth and so forth. Okay, invisibility, authenticity. So we have a figure here in a, a white hooded robe. And, um, well, that's it. I don't have much to say about this card, actually. Jack-o'-lantern uh, protection. We have a beautiful jack-o'-lantern here with a pretty cool smile. Protection is a key word on this card. And next we have joy, rejoicing in the present, okay? Uh, life is one continuous moment. It's all in the now. And we have memories of our past, and we look forward to the future, but we're always in the now moment. So joy, is re joy means rejoicing in the present. These are my own interpretations of these cards. Yours might be different. And the guidebook might be different, too. I'm just, uh, I'm winging it here. Uh, Lady de los Muertos. Acceptance and equality. Okay. So, uh, very cool. I like her fan. Uh, like, I like the red roses in her hair. I don't know about the face. Looks a little painful, though. Okay, next we have the lamp. Okay. We have remembrance. Okay, the lamp. Okay, so it's in a old style window here. And uh, well, your take on that card is as good as mine. Okay, midnight, the most magical hour of all. I thought it was 3 a.m. <laughs> okay, yeah, indeed, uh, 12 o'clock is magical. This is the beginning of a new day. And uh, that's it, very artfully done here. I like the little watch here on her chest. Mummy, okay change okay well the ancient egyptians wrapped their uh people in in linen and so forth uh, uh cloth to uh preserve the body because they thought uh somehow the body uh if it was preserved it would be a lead to a better afterlife or something like that we have an orange moon here and um and like the little pyramids here pretty cool Next, we have Night Song. Uh, let me see what this is. Hidden Talents. Okay, Hidden Talents, yeah. Very beautiful bird here. And I'm sure he uh, sings quite the melody. Okay, we have Owl. Owl is wise seeing and wise action. Okay, so owls are wise. You know, they're a very wise bird. And they're utilized a lot in Halloween themes, I've noticed that. And there's the eyes of the owl. So pretty cool. We have scrying, okay. Uh, it's one way uh, to uh, uh, commune with those who have gone on or perhaps predict the future. Uh, scrying is uh, intuition, okay. So uh, other ways of... Uh, Communication or EVP and ITC or instrumental transcommunication, which I've had uh, a lot of work in uh, decades ago. A uh, skeleton is strength, okay? Well, I guess the bones uh, support the muscle, and so they have to be pretty strong to support the muscle and the blood. <clears throat> Skull of darkness, blind spots, okay? Well, uh, I've seen this before, a skull with a candle at the top of the head. Uh, so uh, it's very interesting, a picture. Uh, next we have skull of flowers, okay? Uh, it's kind of like one of those candy skulls almost uh, from uh, Santa Marta or uh, Day of the Dead. But uh, that's what it reminds me of. I like the uh, colors here above and around the skull. Very nice. We have Skull of Light, okay, here we have 
light emit emitting emitting from something behind the skull it means illumination okay very straightforward there uh, skull of stars okay here we have more of a universe or galaxy perhaps here and here we have almost looks like a full moon and uh, very very tastefully done next is spider and um, spider well it says community and web weaving well yeah you know when you reach out to people your circle gets larger and larger and you're essentially forming a web in humanity okay next is trick or treat okay trick or treat mischief and play okay halloween is a fun time when i was a kid i i loved to uh, make a costume and into my early adulthood too i had a blast on halloween i met a, one of my girlfriends one time pretty serious relationship we met on halloween at a uh, costume party okay the underworld where all things pause and begin again okay well that's more of the cycle of rebirth uh there and uh very nice picture here vampire okay i got a couple of vampire decks coming up this halloween season so uh i'm ha i'll be happy to show those okay vampire emotional intelligence yeah yeah i agree with that okay the veil okay uh the future yeah the veil can mean different things it can also mean the thin curtain between physical life and spiritual life so it's a thin curtain that separates us and the veil is indeed very thin i know that okay werewolf is our next card uh exp exploring wildness okay so here we have a uh wolf man type of guy i think uh pretty nice moon here he's got under a lot of uh twigs from a tree here uh, but uh, werewolf type of guy indeed, and he's in the the change there going on. It looks like an old caveman, though. I don't know. Okay, winter. Okay, winter. We have the sacredness of pausing. Okay, yeah, well, okay. I love the leaf here with the moon behind it, and I like this uh, body of water here, this little lake. And we have the witch. Okay. The earthly wear of the worlds. Okay, so uh, Wicca is a is an earth based religion, and uh, it's uh, very much acceptable today. And finally, zombie. Okay, we have zombie uh, control is the key word for zombie, and here we have a it looks like a mausoleum, uh, and we have a couple of stone sculpted animals we have a little cross there have a moon we have a very pleasant uh night sky well that's it uh i didn't go through this deck very well it's kind of like maybe the second time here i went through it so i hope i i made some sense for you uh but if i didn't mention this uh i picked this up from llewellyn 35 percent off so uh I'd, I'd get it, you know, if you can get a good deal on it. It's a pretty interesting deck. But uh, anyways, I uh, hope you're having a happy and safe and joyous Halloween. And uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks.